By the late 1800s, steam power ruled transport. Inventors began looking for alternative, more efficient means of transportation. The result was one of the most important inventions in history, an invention that would soon dominate the transportation industry, the automobile. The early automobiles originally used steam engine as their main source of power, but they were slow, cumbersome, and fairly uncomfortable for the passengers forced to sit close to the steamy hot boiler. The very first automobile is generally credited to the 18th century French inventor Nicolas Joseph Cugnot. His vehicle was financed by the French government and was originally designed as a steam-propelled three-wheel artillery wagon. With a top speed of two miles per hour, the vehicle ran out of control during a demonstration and crashed into a wall. But it is 1880s German inventor and automaker Carl Benz who is generally credited as the father of the automobile. Carl Benz and his contemporary Demora are important because they were really the first people to not only come up with, in their case, the gasoline-powered road vehicles, but they persisted at it and eventually developed vehicles that they sold for market. One man who perhaps more than any other would revolutionize the automobile industry with his gasoline-powered automobiles was Detroit automaker Henry Ford. Ironically, it was an early steam engine that would inspire the automotive pioneer. The first self-powered vehicle that Henry Ford ever saw as a boy was one of the steam traction engines. For Ford, this was one of these light bulb moments. He saw this thing coming down the road as a young boy and it affected him profoundly. By the early 1900s, numerous companies were beginning to make automobiles, but it was Henry Ford who succeeded in bringing the auto to the public. The great accomplishment of Ford Motor Company was to take something enormously complicated like the automobile and put it on an assembly line method which required interchangeable parts, which required all these conveyors and carefully choreographed movement of all these parts and sub-assemblies. Engines and transmissions had to be on their own assembly lines before they could all come together for that chassis assembly line. But it did come together with the assembly line in full force by the 1920s, the price of the Model T was known for a drop from $850, staggering figure for the day, to only $260. By the time the Model T stopped production in 1927, 17 million had rolled off the line. The automobile is probably the most influential invention of the first half of the 20th century. It had such huge ramifications. It reshapes the landscape, which ends up with things like the interstate highway systems. It results in not the death, but the decline of the railroads, which was the great 19th century industry. The enormous popularity of the automobile would forever alter transportation.